Okay, today is May 21st. It is Thursday. It is right now 11.35 p.m. It's pretty late, I guess. But I wrote something. I don't have a title to it, but um, it's something, I guess, writing towards myself in the way that I am expressing how I feel. And I guess you'll see right now. Sometimes I wonder if, from now, from how broken I am, if I can really truly love. I speak without thinking. I say and act really weird. I also don't have the greatest sense of humor. I say and ask the most dumbest things. I don't know why I exactly do these things. My parents did an amazing job raising me, but yet, I did mistakes. I have lied to so many people, and I have been lied to as well. People have always made fun of me since I was a child. And up to this day, there are still people, there are still people that talk bad about me. I was never happy on the way that I looked. I hated my body, my face, my hair. That's why I changed the way that I dress. That's why I changed the way that I dress. And I don't use glasses anymore. And I'm always cutting my hair. Not only those things, but I'm trying to lose weight so I can feel pretty just like all the other skinny girls. I always try to fit in, fit into the crowds I got surrounded by. I used to talk bad about other people behind their backs. And now that people began doing it to me, it hurt. I once cut myself and attempted suicide. Now why did I hurt myself? Did I think that my life had no meaning? I honestly can't believe I did these things. I didn't even think about all the people I was going to hurt. I was young and dumb, but now I have learned that my life is valuable to God's eyes. And I now I know now a, a whole lot more things about life and that I should be grateful for the things I have. I also need to be, I, I also need to forgive myself for all the mistakes that I've made. I'm sorry for hurting my body and I'm sorry for not listening to your advice. I now realize that I should be happy with my own body, face, and hair, because I am unique, and I should be happy on the way that I look. I should be thankful that my parents found out I was doing bad things, because thanks to the, to the love they showed me and keep on showing me unconditionally. I will try my very best on becoming a better person. I love you. And always be happy with what you have. Don't forget that there is people that care very deeply about you. People that don't want anything bad to happen to you. And always be who you are. No matter what people might think about you. Keep your head up. Keep your head held high as much as you can and make friendships that will accept you for the weird, unique person you are. Because when you surround yourself by people that love and accept you for who you are, it's easier for you to feel proud on the person that you are.
And don't pay attention to any of those bad things being said about you. Don't hide who you are, because who you are is someone wonderful. Of course you have flaws, you've made mistakes, but that's okay, because nobody is perfect. So don't push yourself too hard, just try the best you can, that's all you can do in life. Be proud of who you are and who you're becoming to be. So this writing is basically me writing it towards myself. Uh, things that I haven't had the strength to say and to actually admit. I... well, I guess I'll just start at the beginning. Um, sometimes I wonder if, from how broken I am, if I can really truly love. Okay, well that's one thing. Um, I haven't really, um, I don't know how to really say this, but I guess I kind of thought that I was in love with someone when in reality I wasn't because what we had wasn't, wasn't really real. And from how broken I was from that. I thought that I was never going to be able to heal, or I don't know, I guess I felt like I couldn't really trust anybody anymore. And I didn't feel like maybe I can love somebody else as much as I felt like I did. That's part of it. I speak without thinking, I say and act really weird. I also don't have the greatest sense of humor, I say and ask the most dumbest things. I don't know why I exactly do these things. Well basically what I'm trying to say here is what I wrote, that I am a very different and weird person. I was never happy with the way that I act. Because I act very super weird. I say really random things that pop into my head. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not funny either, even though some people think I am. But deep inside, it's like I try to be funny when in reality, I feel like I really am not. I guess I never really liked that side of me that I was, that I am really weird in a sense kind of way. Um, next part says, my parents did an amazing job raising me, but yet I did mistakes. I have lied to so many people and I have been lied to as well. People have always made, okay, I'm going to stop right there. Um, my parents... They are amazing. I couldn't ask for any other parents to raise me other than them. They are incredible. They were always there for me to lift me up from the ground whenever I fell or whenever I was in my most darkest and saddest moments. They were there to... I always talked to them. But even though they raised me very well and educated me in a good sense, I didn't listen to them and I made mistakes. Things that I am very not proud of making that I did, but that's how life is. You you know that you're, you're not doing the right things and yet you decide to, to, to do them and you just you do it. Okay. Uh, I have lied to so many people and I have been lied to as well. Yeah. 
I, when I was a bit more little, I hang it, I hanged out with people that weren't exactly the right people to hang around with, and I lied to them to, I lied to them about so many things that were just so dumb and stupid, really. And I pretty much lied so I could try and fit in with them, when really, it was really wrong and dumb for me to do and time has passed ever since I did those things and there's still people that lie to me and I know that they are because I know the truth but yet they they lie to my face and I'm okay with it because that's who they are and that's what they've been doing and it I know it's not right but if that's what they're gonna do I can't really do anything about it and so okay we're moving on because this thing is very long um uh, da, 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 da. people have always made fun of me since I was a child and up to this day there's there are still people that talk bad about me Yeah. Since I was little, since I can remember really, I was around four or five years old and I started using glasses. I was always a very chubby, fat girl. I, would, I had really dark skin and every time that I took off my glasses I looked like this. And I was never really proud on the way that I looked. And um, people would always call me very bad names well I'm gonna just keep on reading I was never happy on the way that I looked I hated my body my face my hair that's why I changed the way that I dress I don't use glasses anymore and I'm always cutting my hair well yeah I was never really proud on my body and up to this day, I sometimes feel very uncomfortable in my own body and that I feel very fat and very ugly from my face, that I have pimples all over me, excuse me, and well, I mean, I always had long hair and I wanted a change, a difference, and so I stopped using glasses and... I was always cutting my hair and trying to make me look different, a different hairstyle, because I wasn't happy with the way that I looked. And not only those things, but I'm trying to lose weight so I can feel pretty just like all the other skinny girls. I always try to fit into the crowds I got surrounded by. I used to talk bad about other people behind their backs and now that people began doing it to me it hurts so I'm trying to lose weight but not in a way where I have to stop eating or have to do drastic uh, measurements if not I'm doing like exercise and watching what I eat obviously I still eat three meals a day or two sometimes because I care about on the way that I look not just so I can give off pleasure to other people on the way that I should look but I want to feel happy on my own body and I always talk bad about people honestly I have to be honest with that um, I hate it I hate that I used to talk bad about people I would always say, oh, that girl is very mean, she's rude, or uh, this girl, she'll hang out with you and then she'll leave you. I don't know, I'll just say the random stupidest things. And now that people talk bad about me, it, it hurts and I can see why other people got hurt from the way that I used to talk about them. And... I hate, I don't, I don't like that people talk bad about me behind my back, people saying that I'm a bad influence, people saying that, um, 
that I did a lot of things in my past and a whole other things that I wish to not speak of really but yeah and it really hurts so that's why you shouldn't you shouldn't talk about you shouldn't talk bad about other people behind their backs because you need to think about the consequences and what people might might um might think of you afterwards so that's the first page okay i once cut myself and attempted suicide now why did i hurt myself did i think that my life had no meaning i honestly can't believe i did these things i didn't even think about other people i was going to hurt i was young and dumb but now i have learned that my life is valuable to god's eyes and i know now a whole lot more things about life and that i should be grateful for the things that i have yeah basically just what it says i used to cut myself and it's actually on this arm you can't really see the marks anymore because so, i mean i can still kind of see them if i were to actually pay attention to it but I don't know why I did that and I don't know why I attempted to kill myself I, I know why I just don't understand why I would do something that dumb and stupid to drive me to a point where I would want to lose my life but I've learned that my life is valuable and that I should cherish it because it's valuable to God's eyes. He sees us as somebody very important. Every single person, he's unique, is unique towards him. And there's a reason why he brought us here on earth. So we can live. And that was his main purpose of life. Okay. I also need to, f to forgive myself for all the mistakes that I've made. I'm sorry for hurting my body and I'm sorry for not listening to your advice, okay? I have not been able to forgive myself for all the mistakes that I've made. And due to that, I have gone through depression, anxiety, uh, eating disorder, sort of. Uh, I wouldn't eat normally. I would eat maybe once a day and if I did I would try and puke it up purposely um, I would spend days and days locked inside my room crying and crying about the things that I did or I would just punch the walls or I would <laughs> I would get a pocket knife and I would stab it through the through the wall. That was a very hard time for me to be in and I didn't think that I would get too upset with myself to a point where I would feel very mad and angry at myself for the things that I did but I have learned to forgive myself and I feel at peace with my mind and my heart and with God. And honestly, I feel very relieved now that I no longer feel those kinds of, that kind of way. <sighs> okay, the next part says, I'm sorry for hurting my body. I'm basically apologizing towards myself, saying to myself, like, I'm sorry I hurt you. I would punch myself, I cut myself, like I said, I would, <laughs> I would pull on my hair a lot from how angry I would be, I would poke my eyes as hard as I, I could, like, through the inside, um, I would make myself bleed from my nose, I... I usually bit my tongue so I could have like my mouth hurt. I would I would pull my skin. 
I would choke myself a lot and due to my my sickness well it was it was worse because I would actually feel like I was running out of air and basically I'm apologizing towards myself towards my body that I'm like I'm sorry for what I did to you I'm sorry for not listening to your advice that I am going towards my parents and towards my sister Esmeralda I am sorry towards them that I didn't listen to them when I had the opportunity I now realize that I should be happy with my own body face and hair because I am unique and I should be happy on the way that I look I should be thankful that my parents found out I was doing bad things because thanks to the love they showed me and kept on showing me unconditionally I would try my very best on becoming a better person that I am just I'm saying that I should be thankful with what I have my body the way that I look my face my hair uh, my family I should be thankful for them for them to finding out that I was doing horrible things and thankful that they found out that way I am an, on a better track in life and trying to be a better person really and this bottom part it says I love you and always be happy with who you are I am telling myself that I love myself for who I am and that I should be happy with who I am because who I am is very very unique and different from other people because if we were all the same and we all looked the same then what would really be the point you know life would just be blood okay the third and final page I know this is taking like 22 yeah 22 minutes but I'm sorry okay I'll try and do this as fast as I can don't forget that there is people that care very deeply about you people that don't want anything bad to happen to you and always be who you are no matter what people might think of you okay I am okay this whole thing is about me talking to myself pretty much and writing down what my thoughts are that I should never forget that there's people that care about me and that love me for who I am and even though I sometimes might not be as happy with who I am I need to know and remember that there's people that care about me very deeply and I need to be who I am no matter what people might think of me people might think and say different things about me and say my different things about you maybe uh, I don't know what y'all what people might be going through but you need to remember that there's people that care about you very deeply and you need to remember please remember that they will always always love you no matter what no matter the circumstances that you're in they will always love you um okay and always be who you are no matter what no matter what people might think of you keep your head held high as much as you can and make friendships that will accept you for the weird unique person you are because when you surround yourself by people that love and accept you for who you are it's easier for you to feel proud on the person that you are it's true you need to find friendships that actually accept you for who you are not friendships and people that want you to be somebody else because what kind of people are what kind of people are they they really aren't desiring the real you they're your, they are wanting a different person and that other person well you're not really being yourself and that's not right to to you okay um feel proud about the person that you are yeah be proud because you are and I am a very unique person each and every one of us we are a speck of light toward this earth towards this world because we live in a very dark dark world and each and every one of us we bring light towards it 
with just one simple thing that we do or one simple thing that we say. We might not notice it, but it's true. And we should be proud of who we are because every single person is different. We express our emotions in different kinds of ways. Maybe it's through music, dance, writing, um, singing. It can be very different ways, but we're all very different. And that's what makes us special. Don't pay attention to any of those bad things being said about you. Don't hide who you are because who you are is someone wonderful. Of course you have flaws, you've made mistakes, but that's okay because nobody is perfect. So don't push yourself too hard. Too hard. Just try the best you can. That's all you can do in life. Be proud of who you are and who you are becoming to be. That's all I can say, really. You shouldn't hide who you are because, like I said, who you are is very special and unique person, just as how I am towards other people. You can be weird, goofy, also pretty. Um, you can eat weird things. Uh, I can't think of other things at the top of my head right now. But be who you are, because who you are is somebody mind-blowing. Just as how you are, how I am, how every single person is. Because each and every one of us, we are somebody special on this earth. Whether we might not think so, but we are. And... Don't push yourself on doing things that you can't do. Don't become somebody you're not because when you do, it's very hard for yourself to go back to who you were and be proud of who you are and who you're becoming to be. And if you're trying to be a better person because there's things that you need to work on, that's good because each and every single one of us we are not perfect. We are imperfect. We will make mistakes. We will tumble and fall. But we will always have that one person. That best friend, parent, uh, family, different family member, or a friend in, in need, in crisis. That will always be there to help us. And let's not forget, there's always God who's there to listen to us. He is amazing and works in different wonderful ways. So let's not hesitate on talking and speaking up. And if you're finding it very hard to, to forgive yourself or admit the things that you've done, write it down. That's what, I'll, that's what has always helped me. Because I'm not that good at expressing how I feel and talking to other people about it. So I write it down. And that's something that has always helped me. So that's just something that I really wanted to say. So thank you. And hope you have a good night since it's already 12.04 a.m. Sorry that maybe I wasted your time. But... Um, yeah, thank you, and hopefully I can do this again. Okay, bye!